Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co Destiny 2 video. Today we are continuing on our Lost Sector search and we're going to show you guys where on earth in the Sunken Isles you can find all the Lost Sectors. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying these, finding them helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and sub to the channel for updates on when all of our new content goes live. So Lost Sectors, uh, they are a fabulous little way to get some tokens and uh, get some blue engrams as you're ranking up. And they're also helpful because of the challenges. Um, usually every day, one of the challenges is loot a Lost Sector in specific location. And usually that comes across multiple worlds. So very handy to know where they are. Good source of EDZ token or tokens for whatever world that you're doing them in. So let's get on into this. So the first one that we're going to look at is the quarry which is the closest one to the transmet location in this area, the Sullivan Isles. Uh, you'll notice that it's kind of right in between these two adventures here, just grayed out on mine, which means I've looted it already. So we're going to head straight to that, and it should be very easy to get there. The It's a cave entrance, so it shouldn't be too tough at all to get into. <clears throat> this is one of the easier ones I find to get into, at least, and it's... So it shouldn't be shouldn't be too tough for you guys to find you just straight ahead here. Turn around and look up. There is our lost sector symbol. And so we just want to go on in through here. And as always, I'm not going to make you look through or watch through of me killing everything, but we'll take you to the end and show you what sort of loot is in here. Um, as I mentioned before, what you're looking for, you'll be probably getting, getting blue engrams as well as the tokens for the world that you're doing it on and a little bit of glimmer. Uh, if you guys are capped on Glimmer, don't let that happen. Do not let that happen. There's a couple good places you can go spend Glimmer, and that is with Cade. You can get his um, consumables that allow you to spot the um, things on the different worlds that you can, the things you can pick up to turn in. Uh, the other option is you can use it to buy gun mods, and I would suggest buying as many gun mods as possible because you can use it to turn in and. Um, once you hit 280 light, you can turn them in to the gunsmith for the legendary versions of the mods, and the legendary give you an extra 5 power to whatever item you're putting it on. So definitely, definitely going to be important, so stock up on them now while you can. And there we go. Like I said, 1,200 gentlemen, that's pretty good. So our next one that we're hunting for is the Skydock 4, which is right in the middle of the ship here. It's a little bit tougher one to find because it's not as blatantly out in the open. But you just cruise across, kind of the same path we took to get to the first one. Avoid all the, I mean, avoid the shenanigans in the middle. Just make, make, make a nice cruise across for it. And then you'll be heading to the path that cuts right underneath the ship here. I don't know why I jumped off. Oh, I was, I was scared of that interceptor, I guess. <laughs> and then I jump right on top of it. But as you can see, the Lost Sector emblem is off to our right-hand side here. So not the easiest to see as you're driving through, but it is there. And then this is a interesting one in that it takes you down into the depths, the bowels of the ship, and you get to kill many cabals in order to get them get it done. Um, this one I felt relatively easy. It's not an easy one to get out of, so uh, definitely you want to fast travel out of this on your way out. But lots of explosion barrels around, so you can just blow stuff up around everybody else, which does great. Um, if you want to loot these quicker, I mean, basically as with anything in Destiny, if you want to do things faster, get a fire team going. You can see I'm running this with Savvy Corporal Awesome over there. And uh, so it just makes looting everything faster, right? You know, I mean, there's some activities that you really need a full fire team to do, at least at this point, until you're super over leveled, um, like the Nightfall. But yeah, you uh, if you run it with the fire team, you'll get this stuff much faster. You'll finish your um, challenges much faster as well, specifically the ones um, there's lots of that are like with a fire team, especially in the Crucible. So that's kind of cool. But uh, boss is down, and let's see what goodies we've got from him this time. Nope. Got to kill the rest of the enemies. And legendary engram. So definitely benefit. You can pull legendaries out of these, which are fantastic. I mean, they won't drop above your light level once you start getting over that 260 number, but they can, or 265 number. But they can help boost your average. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you found this helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. Sub to the channel for updates when new content goes live. And check out our website, bgnco.ca, for links to where we have a presence all over the wonderful wide interwebs. Thank you very much for watching, and we hope to see you all in the next Destiny 2 video. Bye!